What is up guys, Karataka here, and today I'm here with another Nendoroid unboxing. Today we'll be unboxing Nendoroid Rocket Raccoon number 1764. So this is from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, but uh, I'm opening this because we... I just finished watching Guardian, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and it was really, really good. Uh, probably my favorite Marvel movie since um, No Way Home came out. But this is his outfit from Volume 2, and I guess it does carry over... No, it, no, it, it's different from the one in, in Infinity War and Game 2, I, I guess. But close enough, I don't think we'll ever get another Rocket Nenroid. But <laughs> let's open this up and see what he comes with, and see if he's worth the price. So he is uh, retailing for 8,000 yen, and he is manufactured by a good small company. So hopefully his QC is pretty good. I'm actually really surprised they gave us one of these because uh, we actually had a mini Rocket Nenroid alongside the Winter Soldier Nenroid from Infinity War and that was like a mini one so it's kind of weird that we got a big standard release Rocket Raccoon and he, I think he is actually He's a little bit smaller than a standard Nendoroid. All right, so here is the Rocket Nendoroid. So he is very, very unique. He's a very unique Nendoroid because there is, <laughs> I have never seen a Nendoroid like him. He's more akin to, I don't know, I guess like the Thanos Nendoroid where it's like the face is not really a Nendoroid face, but this actually looks pretty good in my opinion. And you can kind of, uh, adjust the eyebrows which is really cute and you can adjust the eyeballs as well so that's a really really unique Nenroid so let's have a look at its actual sculpt first before we play around with the other things I'll fix the eye a little bit later so looking at the sculpt okay so the eyebrows are a bit loose though so that might be a problem his sculpt looks pretty nice they, there's a very, very good color separation on his outfit. Okay, let me fix the eye. Okay. So you can fix on the back here. All right. And he is using the super movable joints, but these, yeah, okay, they, it has the same problem as all the other super movable joints. When you move them, they kind of push out a bit, so they might just completely fall out. But his arm, his arm uh, joint here, the elbow, uh, the shoulder, feels really good. Although you, you'll see that there is a similar problem there. When you move it, it kind of splits apart because there's nothing holding the two parts together except for a peg. The tail looks good as well, and the legs aren't. Uh, there's no joint on the leg, it's only a... Well, there's a joint, but there's, it's not like a bendable joint. So that's a little bit... That's okay. So overall, he looks pretty good. I think his, his face sculpt looks the best. Out of uh, all the features on this Nenroid so far, his ears look really good as well. You can move them. So, pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Uh, instead of face plates, we have plates for a snout, which looks pretty good. Let's have a look at that and let's swap them out. This is kind of like a sad face, which looks really good. And we also have a angry face. This, the right eyeball feels a bit loose for mine though, so maybe it's... Okay. Okay. So there is the angry face. So overall he looks pretty good, he's a pretty interesting Nero, definitely one of the most unique ones I'd say. I wouldn't say the best one so far, but uh, definitely very unique. 
Let's have a look at his accessories because he actually comes with quite a few props. First up is the Baby Groot. I think this alone is worth the price already. This is so cute and he is movable. there so that looks pretty good and we have I think this is his, where do you put this well we have this thing about Bob I think this is the control panel that he used to blow up ego I think it's been a while since I watched volume 2 but that's pretty cool. I think you can hold it. Can you hold it like this? Kind of. All right. But this is actually really detailed. The there's metallic finish, the gold and the silver, and the buttons. They, this is a very good looking prop. We also have cross arms, so if you don't want to use the super movable arms, you can swap them out for cross arms. Which let's just try that out right now. All right, so here he is with the cross arms, which looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I like that. Uh, it's also kind of it looks better as well because there's no seams on the arms. So if you want to display him like that, that looks pretty good, and he'll look pretty good next to Baby Groot. All right, so I think the last of the accessories is just his blasters and some shooting effects. So I should have actually put these on first before we move on to the cross arms because now I have to unplug the arms again, but that's okay. And we also have the stand here. Which just that. So the bigger grid just stands on its own. It doesn't have its own little peg or anything like that. Just interesting. But we can actually just swap the hands here. Alright, so give me a sec while I swap my arms back. Alright, so here he is with his blasters, his guns. So they're pretty cool looking. And the shooting effects just you can just slot them on there. Bang bang bang. Switch the snap to this. And angry, angry eyes. So that is all the accessories it comes with. It's a uh, very, again, very interesting Nanoroid with very uh, unique engineering. Definitely never, I've never seen it before, especially the eyebrows. I don't know if I like it or not. It's definitely special, but sometimes you just can't quite get the right facial expression. I, I, you probably need, need to tweak around it, tweak it around a bit, but I think he looks, he looks pretty good for the most part. Definitely didn't expect to get a rocket, rac rocket uh, raccoon android, but I'm glad that we have one. And hopefully he'll look good next to my other Marvel androids. Uh, when I do the display tour, I'll probably show you guys. This will probably be in there already because my Marvel, my Marvel shell is pretty empty right now because most of my Infinity War and Endgame androids are in storage, so I'll have to go pick those up. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this unboxing, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, more Nanoroid coming, more Nanoroid videos are coming soon. I hope you guys like my new photo uh, light box. Uh, this, that's what you, that way you can kind of just see it as a whole white thing <laughs> instead of uh, seeing the little silver sides. This is a new light box; it's a lot bigger, so I can do unboxings for big, bigger products as well. Because previously I was trying to unbox the metal builds and whatnot, but in that in my old 
uh, display, it was definitely too small. So hopefully with this one, it, it, it fits and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll do that later. But that's pretty much it for this unboxing guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is definitely a very, very unique Nendoroid. That's all I'll say. If you guys like Rocket, definitely pick this one up. There's no really big issues with it. I don't think I see any quality control issues with it or any defects. And the problems that I face with it is just pretty much standard for those super movable joints. Don't know how good small are ever gonna improve on that, but that's fine. It's mainly just when you move these, these just pop out. So the only other way they can do it is just by uh, fixing these so that they are stuck together permanently. But I'm not sure if it's, they think it's a problem with the look or what, but yeah. I guess if there's another hole there, it'll look a little bit weird, but that's fine. All right, so that's pretty much it for this unboxing, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is Kurotaku, and I'll see you guys next time.